as you've mentioned before, you know, the, the number of people who were in the clinical trials for these vaccines was, you know, in the tens of thousands. And there are very limited number of adverse reactions of which, you know, there were common side effects to many of these these um, these types of vaccines. So I think from a safety point of view, there isn't, you know, there's so many people who've had it now like in the millions, as we were saying before, in Israel, where we haven't seen any major adverse side effects at all. And by now we would have seen them. So I think, you know, from that side of things, um, I'm, you know, I'm fairly confident, if not completely confident at all, that it is safe to have. It's not going to cause any issues with people who have it. And if there are going to be issues, those patients will probably already be known to the medical teams that they could potentially have adverse reactions, such as those who have severe allergic reactions, et cetera. And so, you know, to, to make a vaccine effective, it has to show that it's doing the job that it's supposed to do. So we know from the clinical trials that depending on the vaccine, you can get somewhere from, you know, the Pfizer was somewhere like 90% effectiveness in terms of uh, achieving a notable immune response um, in those patients. And compared to, say, the Oxford vaccine, which was, depending on the dosage, was somewhere between 60 to 90%. So I think from my point of view, you know, it is completely safe, these vaccines, and, and they are effective at what they do. And I and, you know, more so than perhaps many other vaccines that we know, these vaccines are under... A, a huge amount of scrutiny from the public, rightfully so. And so the data that is supported these vaccines has to be held up to the highest standards, and they are, and they are showing that they are effective at what they do.